are so aggressive. Just, just uh, kind of explain to people on film what, what you've been seeing so far and, and what makes them so good on defense. You know, they're long, athletic. They try to steal the ball on every possession. They got one of the best on-ball defenders in Alex Lomax, a kid that we had signed three years ago. We got to do a good job of just making sure that on every rebound, we secure the basketball. On every pass, we pass it with two hands. On every catch, we hold our man off. And just know that they're always trying to steal the ball, and we got to make sure we do a good job of taking care of it, especially with our press offense. When they get ready to run and jump, if your man runs the trap, you got to come back to get open to the ball. And we got to do a good job of just taking care of the basketball. They force 16 turnovers a game. They're really good on ball defenders, and they're good at trapping, you know, ball screens. So we just got to do a good job with our spacing. It depends on how the ref is calling the game. You know, we when we run our dribble drive, we're trying to get inside the paint and we're drawing a lot of fouls. But they have great on-ball defenders, so I think it'll be a little different than most games. We want to try to share it and do a lot of more motion versus them instead of a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. So we'll see. It depends on how the game is going, how well they're guarding defensively. And we just got to make sure we're taking care of the ball. I think we just take it one game at a time, and Memphis is our next opponent. Um, I think it's a big challenge for our guys because Memphis was picked ahead of us. They were picked number two. Um, they got the team with all the five stars. They got the team with the top recruiting class. They got a great head coach in Penny Hardaway. Um, they got one of the best arenas in the league, and I think this will be the first game where they have their fans, so we'll see the best Memphis team that um, has played this year. They got a good basketball team. They're athletic. We just got to do a good job of just being ready for the next opponent. I think our guys had a couple of days where we could just focus on, you know, making shots, staying in condition, um, doing a lot of individual workouts to work on our weaknesses. And they did a good job this week of just, you know, practice. We had one off day, and we just really been doing a lot of going up and down, like five on zero type of stuff. That video got kind of taken out of content. You know, early on in that video, I was just telling our guys, you know, if we play like this, we'll have a chance to compete every game. And, you know, later on in the season, if we're in position to win, you know, we could possibly, you know, do good enough to win a championship. So it was kind of taken out of content. I think our guys just, you know, take it one game at a time. You know, of course, they, all, they know every name on Memphis team because all those guys – we're McDonald's All-Americans. I'm sure our guys are come ready to play, but it's just a big challenge, you know, that team being picked ahead of us and having a coach like Penny Hardaway. I think our guys will be ready to go, but it's going to be a big challenge. They're the most talented team in the league. They have great size. They have a lot of talented one-on-one -on -one guys, so we got to do a good job of taking care of the basketball, rebounding, and defending at a high level.
majority of your team being black players? You know what? We hadn't talked much about me being the basketball coach. You know, MLK is a special day for all of us, you know. That, that was some beautiful things that, you know, Mr. King did for all of America, you know. Um, but we hadn't talked much about me being the coach, about me being the first black coach. We're just trying to focus on playing basketball games, getting better every game, and just competing at a high level. So that's the biggest thing. These guys just want to compete. They're, they're focused. They're ready for the next game. And we just got to go down to Memphis and play well. Um, Clarence Jackson has to see a doctor today. Um, he practiced yesterday. He went, he went, you know, played well. He shot it good. We didn't have any contact, so it was like individual workout where you just get up shots. But I think he'll be okay, but he is seeing a doctor today. Um, Craig Porter, he practiced yesterday. You did Again, we did individual instruction. He had a good day, so I think he'll be ready to go. I would say he's probably 95%. He's not 100%, but both of those guys should be available for the game. And with Clarence, that's his back? Or what was his injury again? Clarence is a back injury. Craig Porter is a knee injury. And with, the, with this kind of extended break, uh, have you guys changed anything up with the practice, or is it kind of come at the right time to – know get those guys back to, to healthy or what have you kind of done to you know take advantage of you know the little longer layoff than normal what we did was Saturday we had a scrimmage game since we wasn't gonna have a game on Sunday we wanted to get up and down and um, play a lot of you know scrimmage games so what we did was we played four five minute scrimmage games and we divided the teams up you know we played versus man we played versus run and jump we played versus zone, and we just competed. The last thing we did was a blog segment where we take the ball out underneath out of bounds, and we do what we call ODOD. So you got two chances on offense and two chances on defense, and that's what the practice was like this weekend. We wasn't able to play a real game, so we called it a basically a black and gold game scrimmage this weekend, and I thought we got a lot out of it. Um, Sunday was off. And yesterday we did an individual instruction where it was no contact and it was just, you know, guys getting in the gym, working on their weaknesses, getting up a lot of shots. We did a lot of ball handling and just a lot of drills. Just be solid, you know, take care of the basketball. Make sure you get other guys wide open shots. That's something I think he does really well. Um, you know, he's the guy on our team that's got the ball in his hand most of the time. And against Memphis, that's going to be huge because he's going up against Alex Lomax, who is a great on-ball defender. And he just got to value the basketball, take care of it, create shots for Tyson, Dexter, Trey, all those guys. He's getting Morris Udeze, Isaiah Chandler, easy baskets at the rim. He just got to continue to do a good job of just valuing the basketball, taking good shots, and making stationary open threes. I think winning on the road is a challenge and is always good if you can do that. Um, we just want to take it one game at a time. Again, Memphis is a place we've never won at in the American Conference. Um, they're a good basketball team at home. They got a big time facility in the FedEx form. Um, 
I'm not sure how many fans they'll be to have, but this will be their first game with fans, so I'm sure their team will be up for the challenge. I'm sure they'll play with a lot of energy. We just got to do a good job in going down and playing well. And again, anytime you can win on the road is always great. So I think our team is just excited, you know, to play the next game and Memphis is the next game. So we'll be up for the challenge. It is. I think we did a great job of sharing the basketball in all our offensive sets. We talked about moving the basketball, not letting it stick, taking, um, turning down an open shot and getting somebody else a better shot. I think it's two different games, though. You know, Tulsa, they go 1-2-2 two, two, and they sit back in a matchup zone where Memphis is a team that's going to pick you up full court. They're going to run and jump. They're going to try to crawl up in your space. And we just got to have a, a good job of you know, taking care of the basketball when you're handling it, making sure that you run your hands into the ball when you're breaking to get open, and we just got to execute. We got to do a good job of taking good shots, not turning it over, transition defense, and rebounding. If we can do those four things, you know, we have a good chance down there.